Veronica is running a bit of an experiment. No one's ever done this before, which is really exciting. Creating a new chemical reaction using nickel, solvent, and organic molecules. The color change may seem simple. The project she's doing here is for the Department of Energy, and it could make a huge difference for your household solar panels. Solar panels are wind power. Anything that's a renewable energy, we're trying to find a way to store that energy when the wind isn't blowing and when the sun is not shining. Veronica's experiment in the lab is thanks to computer models and machine learning. It's that machine learning that the University of Utah recently helped make a huge breakthrough in. It's so big and, and, and unique in the field. It's called the Kraken. Not this Kraken, this one. A map of 300,000 calculated organic compounds that the U created in partnership with the University of Toronto. Whereas the old workflow was much more um, by hand. We'd have to guess a little bit, guess and check. We will not have to guess and check at all anymore. It's beyond what any scientist's brain could come up with, more than what any grad student could measure out and test. And what we're doing is predicting molecules now, a lot of them that are outside of, the, of what has been explored in the history of this field. Well, this analysis. may seem you foreign to, to you, this. this won't. Distinguished Professor Matthew Sigmund says the U collaborates with pharmaceutical companies, creating new medications at rapid speed. We're mostly on, in the area of small molecule drugs, so stuff that you're more familiar with, like aspirin or Lipitor, or something like that. We find ways to help companies do this much more accelerated. That's just one way using Kraken can help advance today's world at the click of a mouse. What Kraken does is save an enormous amount of time between where you start and where you end in trying to make a chemical process efficient and, and cost effective. And you'll bring the drug costs down, you will bring the timeline by which they will be evaluated in trials down. It's the same kind of technology used for the COVID-19 vaccine, he says. In fact, that's how the vaccine unrolled to the public so fast. Of course, lab work is still essential to the process. And if you ask Veronica. So that's the exciting part for me is I have no idea what it's going to look like. This is where the fun happens anyway. At the University of Utah, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.